Many travelers had to find alternate ways to get to O'Hare this morning because of those protests blocking the streets. Traffic was backed up for miles, and one of those people affected was Jake Hamilton. He's joining us now by phone. Jake, I understand you made it to the airport. Tell me what your experience was like this morning. I did, Sylvia. Well, lucky enough, I was to I was able to um, sort of see the news of what was going on because we reported it earlier this morning on Good Day Chicago. But uh, because of that, I hopped on the blue line, and uh, you know, between the Rosemont and O'Hare stops, I noticed the uh, remnants of the protests going on. Even though by that point the protests had already been cleared out, but uh, you could see it very quickly. I don't know if we're showing the video, but. You, you could see it uh, sort of backed up for a very long time. That video was taken about 10 o'clock, and uh, from what I understand, there is still uh, you know a little bit of uh, you know traffic remnants. Yeah, we're looking at the video that you shot, and you're right. That traffic goes on for miles. So once you got there, and thank goodness that we were on top of this this morning, and you knew to take the the, the train there. Once you got there, were people talking about this? Did you see people uh, trying to walk uh, with suitcases from outside? What was your experience? Absolutely, there are a lot of people uh, in uh, very panicked positions uh, in the ticketing of the checkout area. A lot of people trying to rush through security as uh, they were trying to get to their gates that I presume were late. But the interesting part was hearing the TSA agents speaking to each other, some of them saying, yeah, I just had to get out of the car and walk. Mm -hmm. So whether, you know, it was people flying out or people that worked here at O'Hare, it very mm -hmm. much affected everybody. Yeah, you know, I know how you are, Jake. You're like me. You get to the airport super early, so you were prepared, but for a lot of people who maybe waited a little bit later, likely missing their flight, I'm sure. Yeah, Sylvia, my flight is not for eight days, but you know I like to, <laughs> I know know I like you to get are. here just very early. I know how you are, my friend. Okay, have safe travels. I'll see you when you get back. Take care, dear. Okay, traffic is slowly moving now. Let's get to our traffic reporter, Jeremy Scott, to find out what the latest situation is. Jeremy, what can you tell us? Well, Sylvia, the good news is things are slowly getting back to normal. We're seeing a couple of slowdowns through the 190 stretch, as you see right there. Part of that's because of daytime construction uh, in the right lane. But, yeah, as Jake said, as everybody's been saying, uh, traffic was snarled for several uh, hours because we started seeing the delays right before 8 o'clock this morning. The sit-down protests took about an hour uh, to disperse. But uh, once that went through, we were able to get things uh, moving through. At one point, we saw delays on 90 and 294. But but those have finally subsided. You're seeing some slight delays going to and from and around the terminals. Uh, in fact, right now, the travel times are much better than they were earlier this morning. It's a half hour on the outbound Kennedy from the Burn Interchange out to O'Hare, inbound about 43 minutes. So the good news is if you are headed to O'Hare and you want to drive, you still can. You're not going to see any delays. And I'm not even seeing any delays from uh, the planes because uh, O'Hare's reporting average delays less than 15 minutes, only three cancellations. So really, Air travel was not affected at all. 